Yeah, I mean, interestingly, a lot of people ask me why are the Ukrainians targeting civilians there? And it can seem surprising to some people. Only about 10 days ago, I was sitting in a cafe in the center of Donetsk uh, near my house. The building shook, the windows shattered, landed it over, over myself. Uh, and two missiles landed two, 20 meters either side of, of the cafe, one outside my local supermarket as well. And this is, I know this area very well, it's simply civilian, uh, uh, civilians there, no military targets. So why is Ukraine intentionally shelling uh, civilians? And I recently read a, co a, a comment by a Ukrainian general who said that Russia will start targeting civilians soon in Barmut uh, because they're failing militarily. I think that's a very revealing comment because that's what Ukraine has been doing. They started in 2014 uh, when they're failing to, to defeat the so-called uh, pro-Russian separatists militarily. They resorted to shelling civilians in the hope of dampening the civilian population's will and support for the local authorities there. So it started happening in 2014, famously when uh, the Ukrainian jet bombed the center of uh, Luhansk, horrific scenes, I, I, I mentioned that in, in the documentary. And it's been going on intermittently uh, over the last eight, going on nine years now. And since uh, Russia uh, sent its troops into Ukraine, it's escalated. It's such an important story because it's the reason why uh, the vast majority of people in, in the Donbass region that's controlled by Russia no longer want to be part of Ukraine. I mean, <laughs> they say to me, when your own government is bombing your own people, I mean, everyone has near miss stories like I do. Everyone knows people who've been killed. We'll talk about that in a minute. Children have been killed. <laughs> you know, how can you continue being part of Ukraine? And I think that's the reason I, I made the documentary. Obviously, I spent a lot of time there. The reason I focused on that is to, to say that there is another way to end this war. Uh, NATO says the only way is to send uh, Ukraine weapons to take back this territory. Well, if you listen to the civilians in, in Donetsk and, and Crimea, for example, the vast majority of people in Crimea are pro-Russian, then, then there is another way to end this war, and that's by listening to the civilians on both sides, and it will mean Ukraine has to give up territory, but increasingly the world is understanding that.